guys, it's day two of Toy Fair. Sorry, I lost my voice. Um, but our first meeting today was with Tomy, and I, I have a, I love Tomy products. Back in the day, they made the Pokemon toys, and I really love them. So I had to make an appointment with Tomy. Um, and look, they actually do have dolls. So, wow, these are super, super cute. Not you guys' scene, I'm sure, but um, a lot of you guys have kids. I know that, and these are absolutely darling. Look at them. So just like you know, the doll matches the book. It's sweet. And then, yeah, I mean, this is what we care about. <laughs> this is what I care about. We've got, these are all new. These come out in 2024, early 2024. These knit Kirby plushies. I hope that they continue these beyond Kirby, but it fits Kirby really well, because you've got epic yarn. Uh, these are awesome. Oh, did you see, baby? What is this one from? That's from Bowser's Fury. Bowser's Fury, oh, got it. That makes sense. So those are pretty new then. Yeah. And you've got like the, so these are available now, all of these are. Just want to make sure, because some of the stuff, like, some of the stuff that y'all are going to see is, like, I saw January 2025 on one of the tags, so get excited, but, like, manage the expectation a little bit. Um, and you got, like, the big knitted Kirby's, too. Like, look how sweet these are. The little heart, too. And then, of course, you've got the Club Mochi Mochi. If you've never had these and you ha if you live in the U.S., Target will have them. And, like, I can't describe how they feel other than with, like, it's just so like a cloud it's amazing and i have we have a sonic one who else do we have i swear we have another one we love these they are awesome yeah i'll remember later in a cold sweat tonight um, but we have this one and this one's been available for a while but look this one's coming out february 2025 but look at this supersonic and then you've got shadow and amy and these two this is january 24 and this is august 24 which one's your favorite uh, the amy's pretty good the amy but... Oh, her face is really cute, yeah. Shadow's always and a favorite. And it's just so soft and so sweet. Yeah. yeah, the shadow one. Because you have this one. Do you like him? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then look at the sleepy Kirby. We're partial to Kirby. <laughs> and the little lollipop one, too. And then, of course, you've got your Mario's. These are the ones that are always at Target. There's so many of them. Also, if any of you guys are familiar with these, and you do you have the Bulborb one from Pikmin? I swear one exists. I swear it does. <laughs> I can't find photos of it online, but I saw one once and I didn't screenshot it, but let me know. Anyway, you've also got your Zelda series, so you've got the Korok. Is that Makar or is that just a Korok? Might just be a Korok. It just says Korok, yeah. What, Makar had like a bigger leaf, right? Whatever. Know. Anyway, you got the heart container, the Triforce. These must be new. July 24, September 24, July 24, so yeah. I'm going to be 25 when these come out. <laughs> um, but cute. Wait, we're missing a turtle. Yeah. Ah. Dawn's not Dawn ready. Dawn is coming. Yeah. Um, maybe someday. <laughs> oh, and you've got like mini ones too. And then check this out. Banjo is here. No, just Banjo. Oh, okay. Just check him out. I mean, you could. <laughs> don't, don't, don't look. <laughs> he stays in. Brett has a Banjo, but no Kazooie because we found her, or we found him at a thrift store, but no Kazooie. So. But now you can have both in January 24. That is so soon. I feel like this is going to be popular, so like, because Banjo stuff is so unusual to see. Uh, Master Chief, of course, because you want to cuddle with that, for sure. Um, and that's in June of 24. I can't, I'm sorry, Banjo. And then they've got this new line, too, of sleeping little anime friends. So I haven't seen or played. Is that a game? Boring. It's a board game, right? I'm not honestly sure. I think it's like a D&D type of thing. I'm probably wrong. You've seen this show. I have. Who is that? I don't remember. His this name. is the child. Isn't his name, like... It's named after a spy in the show. Uh, I don't know. Um, you got Jujutsu Kaisen, Tokyo Revenge. These are all new, huh? I don't know what these are, <laughs> but I know that one. And those guys, look at them. And they're all super soft too. They don't have that super like cloud um, memory foam sort of thing like these do. It's not memory foam, but it's like, if you imagine memory foam just being like way softer, it's like that. <laughs> um, but like, yeah. And there's another one. More of a guy. No, not just the head. Um, yeah, lots of cool stuff. We've also got some like craft sets. Tomy's really cool. They've got some cool licenses and these are great, so yeah. Bye. For day two of Toy Fair, we are here back at the Precious Moments booth because the master sculptor for the Precious Moments is actually here live sculpting. And look at this, this is a couple hours or like one hour? Oh, no. One hour so far of work from scratch. It's incredible, look at this detail. It's amazing. And we'll keep checking up on you. Oh, thank see you. if it thank gets you, back. Please, please. It's amazing. Thank you so, so much. Hi, guys. We got let behind the scenes at Bonkers because I bribed them, so they let me back here. I'm kidding. 
They're showing us the AFMAL product lineup. So we've got some stuff that's already in stores, like these I believe just hit, or actually today, October 1st. And then we've got the new mystery minifigures, which I haven't gotten it, or we've got a couple of these. They're so, so nice. I'm gonna actually grab one from over here. The gemstone ones are so fantastic. And then the counterpart to those are the plushies from the same like design idea, but they come out pretty differently. And I think these are so, so cool to see them in these two different styles. So these are the series four. And I, I opened a bunch of these. I posted them on Instagram. I'm pretty sure I didn't open them on YouTube because I, I love these things so much that I can't wait to post them. And then my husband also really loves them. So. Um, and then look at this. They've brought back some series one characters, but in these sparkle variants, you know, with this fabric, so this is our mermaid and fairy cats, but sparkly this time. So yeah, <laughs> perfect. More series four. And then down here, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Can you take a photo? Yeah. So these are the new dolls. I've been a little nervous. They weren't going to keep doing the dolls, which I really like. I love the cats, but you guys know I love dolls and they're the, when I'm displaying them all, I have like 500 cats and two dolls. So I'm really glad that there's more dolls coming. Look at her. She's got tinsel in her hair. The, the clothing, I can't feel it obviously, but it looks like a lot better quality than it was. And it was pretty good for what the doll was. Like uh, you can see some printed on detail, but the actual cuffs and the pants and I see hemming, like it looks really good. And look how cute she is. And then I have no idea what the exclusive things are. So I'm excited to find out someday, especially the glittery cat. I love the glittery cat. <laughs> I was so tempted to buy more of the dolls just to get the glittery cat. And then for this one, they made another one of these ultimate surprise sets. So these retail for $39.99. And yeah. price point, I don't know, unless you really want the box, but it's so cute. And the doll from the last one, I can't wait to see this one. Look, she's got like a werewolf thing going on, I think. I actually just noticed that. I was wondering why she was just brown hair, but it's got like a werewolf thing, really cute. And the last one had this like cool, like it looked like World of Warcraft to me, the outfit. It was so stinking cute. And I can't wait to see what the cat mystery, like the mystery cat is in this one. But yeah, the set kind of rules. <laughs> the, or not this, I don't know about this one yet, but the old one that I have, and I love using this little like hat box thing. It's so cute. And then, you got the gold figure collection here. What's the retail on this one? Thank you. <laughs> we, I'm holding them hostage so they'll tell me how much they cost. So this is the gold figure collection. It comes with six of them. So we already get to know. So it's a mystery. So don't look, it's a spoiler unless you want to know. It comes with, these are a bunch of the series one and then these two are series two, I believe. No, these are series two, right? The cookie was one or was cookie two? I don't remember. <laughs> um, but. The donut one was for sure series one, but look how stinking cute these are. I mean, <laughs> listen, it's kind of the like lazy thing to do to do like, oh, this is the gold variant because you're just spraying it with gold, but it, it works every time for me. It works every time. Love it. And this is just a really cute little set. Okay, these. So I don't know anything about this Admiral person. I'm sorry, I don't. But like, I love these designs that she does. And she has her own merch website that she was selling stuff like this, but it would sell in like five seconds. You couldn't get it. So I was really frustrated because I don't watch her channel and maybe she was announcing when she was releasing them. I don't know. But look, they're bringing them to regular retail now. So we've got the Day of the Dead one. There's like a strawberry one, which is so cute. Thank you. The diamond one. So this one's not a, these are like mind numbingly soft. Like, oh my God, they've got that like super stretchy fabric and like super plush. I love them. I would use these as pillows, honestly. We got that sparkly one. So this isn't as soft, but like a satin pillow kind of. Serimbo one. This is also series four, right? I think this was, one. yeah. So, so, so excited about these. And yeah, oh, there's one more thing I'll show you, but we have to crop in because there's some secrets. Over <laughs> Again, I don't know who this person is, sorry. <laughs> um, but Dean knew and Dean was really excited. So this is Mariah. Elizabeth um, and look how cute these are so this is another one of those situations I didn't say this over at AFMAL but when youtuber merch happens I feel like a lot of it's land landfill filler honestly um, and no offense you know I'm a youtuber I get it but like if the youtuber just fades into obscurity it's like the merch has no relevance anymore and it's like I don't know how long it's gonna have staying power but with this sort of thing it's the art created by the youtuber you know so the art has the staying power as opposed to like Mariah Elizabeth on a shirt so I find this sort of thing so, so cool. So you get to see the artistry of them. And this is just so, so sweet. And who is this person? I don't know that one. I know no, I mean, the, I mean the person. The... Oh, that's Mariah Elizabeth. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> we know that. What do they do? Uh, paint squishies. They paint squishies? Yeah, paint squishies. <laughs> like the, the slow rising squishy type of thing? Yeah. yeah. And these are like the plush version yeah, of that. Yeah, that's Cousin Derp. That's Pickle. Oh, you know their names. You know the I, know, I know some. You know their names. Oh, this is the best one. Yeah. That's, that's I like the these cheese and you got the Cheshire cat smile. <laughs> <laughs> these are absolutely darling and I'm really excited, excited to see Bonkers doing more stuff like this because I really like 
the products from Bonkers that I have in my collection. I think they're really, really cool. And I love I love seeing it expand a little further as we go. And I'm back here seeing a lot of secrets and I promise I won't tell you, but they're really cool and I'm really excited about it. So stay tuned. Hey guys, we are here in the Playmates booth and they showed me all their super cool secret stuff that I can't share with you guys, but next year for the Miraculous products, oh my God, it's amazing. But let me show you what they've got now. So these are all products that are going to be releasing either early 2024 or they're going to be out like very soon if they're not already out. So as you can see, you have the kind of core Miraculous character series. And what I learned about these that I was very surprised about is that they don't actually stop production on these. They, they don't get discontinued. They pause production and then they'll bring them back later. So they pick and choose like, hey, Queen Bee hasn't been in an episode for like a year. We're not gonna keep releasing her. But if she shows up again, they'll release it all again. So that's actually really cool. And I think that's refreshing for anybody who's trying to collect these. Cause I remember Queen Bee was a struggle to get a hold of. So that's pretty cool. And they're also seemingly updating some of them because this ladybug looks radically different than the original release ladybug. Uh, and I'm seeing different like faces on some of these. So some of these might be prototypes. I don't know 100% about stuff like that, but they did say that they were updating a couple of things. So that's actually really, really cool to hear. And you can see here, yeah, it does seem like that is the new ladybug. So perhaps the old ladybug has been discontinued, but that's so cool that they're updating the designs. I think that's really awesome. And then we've seen these before, but Purple Tigress and Cosmo Bug are so fantastic. These dolls are just so beautiful. I'm very, very impressed with them. We've got, you know, everybody else. We've got Lady Dragon and Bunnix. I love the Multi Mouse Marinette. That's, I'm partial to that one. It's such a pretty doll. And then here we have, I don't remember their names, but they're the new series um, with Ladybug and Cat Noir. And they look, I mean, <laughs> she looks amazing. I really like how she looks. He looks like he does in the show. He does. Um, he's got the green hair and these this one looks pretty hand painted so these could change a little bit but I believe these might be hitting very soon because this doll um, I hadn't heard of this character but this is a ubiquity and she drops quarter four in 2023 so very soon and check her out so so pretty she's got a lot of styling product in her hair I doubt she's gonna look like this this is clearly the one that they're showing for Toy Fair but like how cute is this doll and I thought I was pretty up to date on what's going on with Miraculous, but I had no idea about this character and she's just beautiful. That is such a good character design. You can see the mock-up packaging here. Very cool. Oh, didn't know it was all you. Okay, then over here, these are very, very cool as well. So this is one of the moments from season one when Marinette makes him the hat. So that's just a really cute moment to capture in doll form. So I really, really like these. And like, look at her little shoes and this outfit is, pretty nice i think it's pretty cute she's got her little earrings and i really like adrian adrian's outfit is rough but he looks so cute like look at the face on this doll he's cute he's a little it's a little wonk eyed but he's cute he's cute and then you've got i don't remember the name of this episode but i really liked this episode uh, if you haven't seen it yet the dolls themselves aren't a spoiler but i'm not gonna say what happens in the episode or anything um but it was a really really cool episode actually i really enjoyed it when i watched it and i mean yeah i think um Cat Blanc, I think was what he was called. He looks really, really good. Then over here, we have more of the transformation surprise capsules. So there's series one, series two, and series three, and they're all gonna have different packaging. So these are the packaging for series two. They're not showing series one here. I think these most likely are getting discontinued over time. But the thing I love about these is that they are cheaper. You know, they have completely sculpted on looks. Other than these, these come off the masks. They're glued on for Toy Fair, but they do, they do come off. Um, they don't have the articulation and everything, but the value of these to me is like, they're never gonna do Oh, she's glued down, but Marinette in the purple tigress outfit. That's a thing that can happen in the Miraculous Universe because they can use each other's transformations, but you'd never see that as a doll because it would just not sell as well as purple tigress herself, you know? But the value of this is that you get that in this doll form. So you can see all these different ones. So this is series two. This is the start of series three, it looks like. I don't know if they've fully formulated this one, but I really love like the turtle one and stuff. These rock, these are so, so cool. And then over here, we have a bunch of the stuff for the Miraculous movie. So we've got the Volkswagen, which is so, so cute, the ladybug car here. And I love the little spots for the Kwamis. That's probably the least safe spot to be in the car, right? Like they can face through walls, they'll be fine. Um, love this doll. I just learned that this doll is like pr like surprisingly limited edition. So that was a pretty cool discovery. They told me about that. I was like, cause she was surprised that I had one and I was like, oh, I got her when she first came out. And they're like, oh, she was super limited. Uh, so the edition size on this doll was 10,000, but um, not all of them ended up making it to retailers. So that's kind of interesting. And then this is coming soon. This is a, the doll's not gonna be like this. She's gonna be like the sculpted body and stuff, but she's gonna have 
articulation in the knees and the elbows so that you can use the bike. But they're just releasing a bike doll, not related to the movie. I think that's why this one is here to show that this is the articulation she's gonna have. Very cool. And then over here, they're updating the little role play sets to match with the movie designs for the, what is that thing called? The, the yo-yo, the compact thing, I don't know. Um, and then we've got a bunch of Kwamis. These apparently haven't, these specifically, apparently haven't been out in the US and they are actually bringing them to the US. So pretty cool. Look how cute Nico looks. These are very, very cute, very exciting. All right, stop right here. We've got the Zag Chibi series. I love these. I haven't gotten a hold of any yet, but they are coming out in stores now. Like these have already launched. These are coming out next quarter. So in January-ish, we'll be seeing this. And then this is a prototype, like totally hand-painted that they said that we could share with you guys. And look how stinking cute that one is. And look at the side of it. It's Tiki's little face over here. It's so silly. Um, <laughs> I love it. And just take a, like, a close look at how good these figures look. Like, look at stormy weather. So sweet. All of the, the faces are just so well designed. The play sets are so much fun. Like, all the interactive details, like this Ferris wheel. This little carousel actually spins. And, I mean, there's another whole side of every play set. Like, look at that. That's the little park. And the stormy weather had blocked her in. I think that's what that's depicting. How cool is that? Oh, this wasn't a carousel. Sorry, I was at a low angle. Look, it's like a little ride at a fair. And then this one, you've got like the library at the school. So you've got Adrian and Alia and Nico at these little computers. And these are just so detailed and so, so cute and fun. So much fun. And you can see the packaging for one of them there. And then this prototype, I just want to make sure you guys get a really good look at this one. They said this was going to change quite a bit. So you can really tell this is pretty rough in some areas, but this is just the general concept. So just know that it's not any kind of final product. But how cool is this? All these little like moving parts and it's just so sweet. So sweet. Oh, they specifically pointed this out to me earlier. Tiki! <laughs> Everybody oh, knows. what's this? <laughs> Goes from macarons to whatever that is. Cool. Maybe when I get home, I love mothers. Hi guys, so I was just wandering by on my way to one of my other appointments and I spotted this field of amazing dollhouses. So I thought I would share it with you guys. So these are from a company called Team Sin, and they do have a doll line and they are kind of an 18 inch doll line and the clothing actually looks really nice. So we'll go look at those in a second. But what I am really impressed by are all these different doll houses and things. So let me show you. Look at this. So this is a more modern design one. I love the skylight especially, and it's an actual window. So it's not just a hole in it, uh, but you also still get the light into the doll house. Loving like the different porch deck options on a lot of these and I'll show you with the other houses. All of these have really impressive designs and they're not all just random like shelves that you put the furniture in, you know? Look at this. With a hole. You know, cause stairs and dollhouses are always weird, but this doesn't take up a lot of space. Like they usually take up a lot of space and ruin the real estate of your thing. Look at that. That's so smart. And you've got your wooden furniture. I know some of you guys probably are like, I don't like wooden furniture, it depends. Uh, for me, it depends on the piece. Uh, and then down here, I, the bed's in the kitchen. Somebody put this here, it doesn't go here. <laughs> Um, but the, I just, I'm very impressed by the stair design on this because it's very cute. It's actually functional if you want to use it, but it's also, you know, doesn't take up a lot of space. The plant is really funny. <laughs> and of course, always, you got the flushable toilet. If you can't hear it, it's making a flushing sound, I promise. And I really like the bathtub. It's a nice little bathtub. I like it. And this is size for like Barbie size dolls. I did not bring my, that was so loud. I didn't bring my mascot doll today, unfortunately. I left her in the hotel, so... I can't show you, but yeah, I know a Barbie size when I see it. Over here, we've got this one. Now this one has like a, not obviously not real turf, but it's pretty turfy. Like it feels interesting. This is really cool. And it looks like it's Mollywood here. <laughs> um, and look at this. So this one has kind of more of like a glam fun thing going on. Oh, no, Isn't this, this so cute? Yeah, so we've got, we've her got shoe. a doll. <laughs> She's in there. Oh no, her shoe. Her leg is really it's fixed now. I'm a doctor. Thank Actually, that looks worse. <laughs> um, but this is so cute too. I prefer the other one, but this is also very fun. And I just love the stair design. It's just so not invasive. I feel like all stairs are dollhouses, especially Leakachon ones. Oh my God, they're annoying. <laughs> Have you seen like the Leakachon dollhouse stairs? They're so big. And okay. Here, I actually haven't seen this one yet. So let's find out what's going on. Oh, so this, they showed me this earlier. These actually flip all the way. Oh, this one doesn't quite do it. I'll show you on another one. Um, some of them, this will flip out and become a deck. So this 
has your little attic room. These ones close up, which is really nice. Like, oh my God, look how cute the furniture is in this one. That, that looks like a working lamp, it's just not on. But look how cute the, the color scheme is awesome. Look at this. Really nice wood furniture in here and just a really cute design. They have so many different cute designs and I love how much variation there is. Like I feel like that Hollywood house is more like fantasy, fun, like pop star, goofy. This is very fun and pastel. That other house I showed is my favorite. It's like really realistic, but like super cute. Also, this has nothing to do with anything y'all care about, but the dinosaur shelf. Look at this! So cute, and you can put your, your goods in there. So let's put him back. And then you also got, I actually really need this for my home because we, we have a shoe crisis. We never know where to put the shoes. We have a shoe organizer, but it's not cute enough. So we don't use, so we don't use it. But look at this! Hedgehog, shoe organizer. Put your shoes in it. How cool is that? I love that. Okay, anyway, moving on back to dolls. This could be your toy shelves. This could be a dollhouse. I like that it has this like bumper at the bottom. I just, I don't know, I think that's a cool design. Uh, does this go to it? This is something else, but they have all these really cool, um, these are toy boxes, right? But look, they also have a play feature. So you could use it as a dollhouse. Isn't that so precious? And you can actually have it draw back up too. So cool. Are these, these are called draw bridges, right? Cause they open up and become the bridge. I don't know, I think so. Uh, anyway, I've always called that a drawbridge, but what if I'm wrong? That would be embarrassing. Oh, I mean, look. I feel like I'm going to miss something if I don't turn around because there's so much good stuff in here. Okay, I think I've escaped dollhouse land and I've entered a kitchen land, so let's go back. There's a couple more. There's some good ones over here. This one is the one that actually becomes a deck when you open it. So it starts out closed with this cute little piece, and this cute little piece, when you open it, I did it wrong, but it becomes a deck. So you get a whole nother story in your little, well, kind of like a loft situation, but that is so cool. That is so, so cool. And again, it closes up. So if you don't always want your doll, cause okay, for me, I have doll houses on display, but they always get so messy. <laughs> cause they, they, my dolls live in there. It doesn't always stay presentable. So that's like really cute. And then this one is kind of unusual. I've never seen one like this, where it's, it has doors on different sides that lead to different rooms that you can play with at different angles. So instead of having that open concept design like we see in the uh, Stack and Style dream house for, oh, that was loud, for uh, the Stack and Style dream house from MGA, this has like different angles that are very specific, like see? So I thought that was really cool. And on this side, on the right, I don't know if you'll saw it. It's also pretty lightweight, I'm surprised, because it's heavy and durable, like a good, what is that, like Ikea wood, whatever it's called, particle board? Particle board, yeah. MDF? Yeah, um, so like nice nice weight to it, but it's not too heavy where you're dying trying to carry it up the stairs. Um, but this look, this is a separate room that's like half cut off from the rest, but you have that. I think that's really cool. And this, this is probably my favorite one because I find it so fun and innovative and I've never seen one like this. But the first one I showed you is probably like my true favorite. Yeah, so never heard of this company. They've got some cool stuff. I'll give you a real quick sneak peek at those dolls over there. I wasn't sure how interested in the dolls you guys would be, but I thought I would show them to you. There's some really cute ones and the clothing is actually like pretty good quality. They definitely, oh, look at these. These are really, really nice. And then you've got some more over here. Yeah, very cute. These aren't as much my scene, you guys, or my scene, like I don't like them as much. But they're, they're very cute. They're just not the type of doll that I collect personally. Hi guys, they left the sepia booth totally empty. So I snuck in and I'm gonna show you all the cool stuff. Let's go. So first of all, um, I saw they kind of announced these and I was like, oh, those are really pretty. But seeing them in person, I'm like actually in disbelief. So these are products coming out in spring of 2024. So basically they, they should, usually if it says spring 2024, you're gonna start seeing them around like February, but I can't obviously say that for sure. But like, I was asking them about these earlier. I was like, what's the price point and stuff? These are $10. This is around a $10 price point for these. And I, I need to make that like clear how amazing that is. So with this, you get your doll, you get 44 surprises, which is mainly stickers, but like, check this out. 
This is nylon hair, like really, really soft product-free nylon hair. Look how good the print quality is. Do you see low resolution there? No. Uh, and look at like the, they have like the plasticky kind of soft style clothing. So just easy to switch out and fun. And it's a way to have like more detail at a cheaper price point. But if you're not into this, stay tuned. There's something for you still. And these are just so nice. Like look at the rooting pattern and everything. And I'm feeling all of their hair just to see. And it all does feel like nylon. Don't quote me on that. These ones have some product in their hair, so I can't 100% tell. But this line, look at this little bee themed one, little strawberry themed one. This one's got like a leopard thing going on. What if it's like a cheetah? And I always say leopard or cheetah. Like I know, I don't know, sorry. Nobody's ever corrected me, but I'm nervous about it. Look at this one. I don't know what's going on with this one, but I love this one. Does it say? Well, look, they have names. So London is that one. You've got Cat, Buzzy, Blossom. You've got Heather, Sweetie. I think that's her, yeah. Uh, Celestia, okay. Oh my God, I didn't notice. Look at the... So they don't come with all these stickers on them, by the way. They come with these little sticker sheets that it seemed to be exclusive to the characters and you get to apply them. And then Luna is our last one here. So this is, oh, and then of course you have the main character, which I don't think we said her name, but she, her name is Decora. That's Decora. So these are amazing. So she, they come without the stickers and you get to put them on. That is so, so cool. And you can see some of the sticker sheets here. Pretty cool. And I, I just, I just want to really, really let you get a good look at these just let them sink in because oh my god these are awesome I knew these were gonna be cute and I was gonna like them but I was not expecting them to be like this and not at that ten dollar price point I actually can't believe that and then we do you know the price point on the playset <laughs> and then we're gonna find that soon but there's a playset here which seems to come with an exclusive version of Decora see the outfit uh, is the makeup any different I don't I don't know 20. 20 okay this is a probably 1999 price point here and you come with furniture you've got your doll that's 20 yeah that's, that's really good so this whole place that situation for 20 dollars, and then you can kind of see them here i did not realize this and even when we were touring the rest of the booth like the they were taking me through here. oh wait what no i stuck in no they were touring me through the booth and showing me the zuzu pads and dean and brett were both sitting over here staring at these like they wouldn't leave them because they these are really good these are fashion dolls. I knew that they were gonna do these mini dolls and that they were really beautiful and I was excited about these, but I had no idea they were doing fashion dolls, full-size fashion dolls. So they have big old heads, so your Barbie would be about like the height of these dolls, but of course the head is a big, big component here. Look at these. So once again, oh wow, that hair is really soft. That is some really soft product-free nylon hair. Again, again. Here are Celestia. And just look at this doll. And again, this is the same situation where, as you can see in the packaging, they don't really come with the stickers on them. You apply the stickers yourself, so you get to create your Decora fashion here. And the foundation behind this line is similar or the same as Decora fashion, where it's expressing your like inner self outwardly with all of the fun decorations. And I love Decora Kawaii style. It's so cool. And it's just so, so fun to see. So these dolls are so special and look look at that hair the hair blend is just stunning 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 and the details on these are amazing and the clothing quality overall pretty good i'm not seeing like printed details that's like that are offensive to me at all and it does seem like a lot of the outfits are a little bit simpler because you're supposed to spam them with stickers is the idea so they come with you know the stickers oh look at the stickers these probably go to her but like how cute is that i love that uh, i'm just guessing that goes with her anyway so this is decora here and she's got her rainbow thing going on she's so pretty oh let's we'll look at the articulation of these in a second don't don't worry i won't leave you hanging and you see she's got like these leg warmers and these really cute shoes with the rainbow heels going on can you zoom in and also you might notice that they're on these stands and at toy shows often we'll see these dolls on stands and we'll just assume like oh that's made for the toy show like it does say decor girls on it blah 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 i asked about it they come with stands they come with stands oh i didn't even tell you the price point on these 25 dollars each full-size big fashion dolls amazing amazing quality nylon hair and this much of it i dropped something they've got brushes they've got all these stickers they've got stands for 25 dollars. hello okay then we've got luna incredibly incredibly cute super precious and those are two separate pieces by the way oh wait she's got a is that undershirt a separate piece no it isn't hold on let's investigate the situation if that's a separate piece, I'm going to freak out because I did not think it was. Oh my god. 
That is a totally separate piece. Did you say she has uh, the tights? Yeah. yeah, the fishnets. I didn't point it out, but yeah. And I love that the purses and there's lots of metal detailing. Yeah, I like the chain. Like this one had a little keychain here that says uh, sepia. <laughs> cute. That's the. That's so cute. That's a little. That's a cute way to include your uh, info. And they all have these little keychains actually. And the metal, like that's actually metal with the this too so you could actually take this from them and put them on little charm bracelets if you wanted to and then this one that's sweetie was sweetie in? did i miss yeah that's right yeah, she did, oh, yeah. i didn't name her last time um sweetie. this is sweetie oh i did i don't remember sorry um i love the keychain gimmick that's so cute and these are toy fair like they've been being jostled around so excuse that some of their hair is a little bit messed up but i'm telling you it is so unbelievably good quality unbelievable and you can see all these little hair clips again they've been jostled around so they don't they're not next to the character that they go to but you can kind of tell which character they go to like this goes to sweetie this goes to luna that sort of thing these are amazing and then so here's sweetie and her hair is so unbelievably soft and again like the rooting patterns on these really really good considering the size of the head and everything and this one's really nice actually because when they have pigtails generally they'll do a sparser rooting pattern but that pretty good and the hair blend is amazing and just look at these uh, again with the eye qual like the paint quality and just everything super super soft here you got your t-shirt and again let me reiterate little plain on the t-shirt and stuff but it's because you're supposed to load them with accessories and then this this is really cute you got an actual little drawstring here i doubt it's a working drawstring but it might be let's find out i will be absolutely disbelief whoa it's yeah it's a working drawstring wow <laughs> Oh my god and then the cuffs on this are actually that ribbed material and you've got these little boots here so stinking cute and then of course these are a little jostled up because this is toy fair so people have been messing with them all day well for two days now so and they come with all these little stickers they're also jostled around a little bit so clearly this is luna's and it was over here like this is luna's yeah that's her name and then sweetie so you know but these are really really awesome and these are coming out in the spring and I'm in disbelief. Like, I cannot wait for these hit stores. I was not expecting fashion dolls. I don't know why they, they let off with those little... I mean, $10 is, like, actually ridiculous. Like, I'm actually in shock over that. And this line rocks. Total surprise. They've brought them out for the first time at Toy Fair, and I love them. All right, so I know you guys are going to ask about the articulation. So they want to leave them on the stands, but I'll show you that the heads... And these are earlier samples, so it could be a little bit more refined when they, you know, come forward. But the heads are a little bit loose. I suspect that'll change over time. But it's also kind of cute because you get a lot of that tilt, but you also have good left to right motion. And overall, really, like, what you'd expect from shoulder motion. They do not have elbow joints or wrist joints. Or, oh, what? Okay, wait, it's not a restaurant. That scared me. <laughs> I thought it was. And then you've got your click, G click jointed knee. It's kind of what you'd expect from that. And then can they sit? Yes, they can. Good sit. But again, these are a little bit earlier, so that creaking sound and stuff could change. I will keep you guys updated if I have any ability to do so. And yeah, these are really, really fantastic dolls. I got to fix the pose. There we go. Absolutely adorable, these rock. And then... Oh, wait. All right, and then here we are with the Pop Soft World. So Sepia sent me the turtles and the elephants to review for you guys like a couple months ago, and I really loved them, but I wasn't sure how you guys would feel. But you guys ended up really loving them, and I was so excited because I love Patrick's Pickles. And I, when they sent, like, when I found out about these, they're amazing. They're amazing. So we've got giraffe. Oh, I didn't even see the giraffe. <laughs> we've got giraffes. We've got unicorns. We've got elephants. Look at this one with the little peanuts and stuff. And you've got sea turtles sea turtles these are the ones that are my favorite the sea turtles are so sweet and the, just look at the way they so sweet and the elephant with the all the fungus theme and these are just so much fun not the same as reviewing a doll right it's just like look how pretty the designs are but the value like the the cool thing about these to me is that the artists are just so so cool and they come up with these unbelievably cool ideas just popping them out popping them out like all these amazing ideas i love this one it's kind of dinosaur it's got that kind of standard dinosaur pattern on him going on it's so cute let's get that back out and you've got your octopi you've got the turtles really like the octopi so so sweet and these are all either already out or very soon upcoming and you see the blind bag ones these are very cute and they're obviously at a much lower price point but i prefer the big ones i feel like the big ones are where you really get to see that artistry and you get to and they're just so so cuddly and sweet, so much fun, so much fun. And then over here, the pizza one, the pizza one. Last time and 
So this is their decor that they're using as a sample for kids to play with. So she's pretty jostled up, but I just wanted to show really quickly. These are much like closer to release, I feel like. So they seem to be a lot more of a final product. And you can see the head's not loose at all. Like there's a little bit of like wiggle, but it doesn't like at all have any issue. And the articulation, there's actually quite a bit, but it's kind of hindered by the clothing, depending on the outfit. So you can see that's a shoulder joint as you'd expect. Oh, and they have uh, painted on bra and underwear as well, in case you lose the clothes but I can't move the arms as much as I'd like to because of the outfit she's wearing. And then of course the legs are the same idea. And yeah, very, very cute. Just, I mean, just a little bit less poseable than the large ones, but gets the job done. And this, these are so mind-blowingly cute. Okay, I need to know your favorite here. This one, sweetie, I think. Between her, her, and this one. Well, those are ones I got fashion dolls, so there you go. Yeah. I like cat and fuzz. And the mini Luna specifically, I really like. What's your favorite? What? What's your favorite sucker? Uh, uh, F. That one. Yeah, yeah. These are Zuzu Aquarium. I could not believe it when I saw that these were announced. I actually had no idea CBO were the ones that made Zuzu pets. Uh, Zuzu pets were really big when I was a kid. If you don't know what they are, they were these little hamsters that uh, were electronic and they could like bump into walls and stuff and they were super fun. I never had any, but my friends had them. And because they came out when I was around like 10, so I was moving on from toys for five minutes until I got into collecting. Uh, but they're fish now. Zuzu Aquarium. So instead of having like the, what are like the hamster trail things? They're now a little water trail. So you've got like your water current that they can travel through. And instead of your hamster ball, you've got your big bubble that they can move around in. And they work pretty similar. I, again, I didn't have the original ones, but they work pretty similar, if not the same. So they've got like a button that makes them run. A, a, they're apparently quite defiant because they're just like your real animals. So they don't always listen. Um, come on, run for me. We'll find one that'll run, don't worry. It's okay, I just don't know how they work, to be honest. Do you know? Oh, are there two buttons on the top? Okay, well. And of course, they run. And they do have little sensors. So see, he's decided not to listen and stop there. And they can do wheelies. They can do wheelies. And they're pretty smart, so if they get stuck on something. They can do wheelies and stuff, so they're just really cool. And he's, he, he doesn't realize I picked him up, but how cool is that? And they have a new feature that wasn't there before where if you tip them, it turns them off instantly. And this was because of people getting stuck in their hair. So they made it where if you tip them, they turn off. So that's really sweet. That's really cool. So let me know which one of your, one of these is your favorite. Check them out. Come on over. Look at all these guys. And they've got some exciting ones coming that I can't share with you guys, but there's some really, really cool designs coming out. So you can see like your fish and your sharks and your manta ray. I love them. I love them. And then you've got your clownfish. Check out the whale. Sorry, I totally blocked the camera there. So cute. And the clownfish is on this. So this is actually really cool. I would assume this was here for Zuzu hamsters too, but there's a little stabilizer so he doesn't like flip around in the ball. So he'll stay and like actually... Where was the button you used? It's very top of his head. Oh, yeah. Oh, psh, it was already open. He's, he's been freed. <laughs> well, see, as you can see, I'm not super familiar with Zuzu, but I'd like to be. They change them to fish, it changes it for me. These rock. Okay. And then here we have the rest of the Pop Soft plush. Check this out. They now have little rubber ducky friends. Well, they're not rubber, you know what I mean, but they're based on little duckies. And again, just the amazing designs. Which one are you looking at here? I like the tiger, it's so silly. And the, this is probably the, my favorite though. Oh yeah, the tiger is pretty cool. It's so silly. And the fire. Were you looking at the ice cream one? At this guy, like what's oh, this Oh, a citrus one? Well, or like a, like, like not necessarily a lemonade, but like a water with it's like orange the renders, juice. The render they use in every orange juice commercial, it <laughs> looks so refreshing. Yeah, it's cute. And then over here, we've got the cats versus pickles. So this is the mound. They let super special people like Moa pick out one from the mound, so super cute. And then you've got your cats versus pickles. We love cats versus pickles. So they, they were calling them like, this is the teal series, this is the purple series. It's going over my head. I love cats versus pickles, but I'm not, I'm not keeping that much track of them. But I mean, look at these, this is a mustard one. They're just, the designs on these are so cool. You see the skyline one? Yeah, I talk, that's the one I'm talking oh, about. You know, I like the aesthetic ones. Oh, that's right. I was remembering the night sky part. Well, okay, this one. Yo, optical illusion. Oh my god. And that's really well done. It actually pays off the illusion with it. This one. Yeah, it's really good. That's my favorite out of like all Catcher's Pickles, I think. And look at the little like bunny one. These look, are just so cool, sweet. Yeah. 
Another alien. I like that one. Yeah. And the neon signs. So, so sweet. Kittens versus Garkins situation here. And the stickers. So I believe this is a new packaging style. They don't come with the um, blankets anymore, but certain ones do. You'll be able to tell me the packaging. Cows versus aliens. This one's like a spider cow. alien cow. Oh, spider. I. You are so quick. <laughs> Is this like a galaxy sort of thing? Or like a nebula? It's a nebula, I think. And then, what is that? Flower petals? Yeah, with the rain on it, I guess. Yeah, the raindrops are very pretty. Look at the, oh, this is like um, porcelain. Oh yeah, fine china. Super, Honey, super. Honey, take a fine china cow. <laughs> and then these are our bears versus aliens, or pup? Bears versus donuts, sorry, I don't know why I said aliens. This one, oh, I picked this one up twice because I liked it that much. It was that. <laughs> And the donuts, very silly. I just love, cool. if you've never held one of these before, sometimes certain stores like CVS Pharmacy, I think, sells them like out where you don't have to buy blind packages, you know? And they're just so interesting in your hand. There's nothing like it. Like, I just, I love them. I love them. So we spent like 30 minutes in the Fresh Fellas booth yesterday, but we didn't get to film anything. We were in and out, but today it's time. I'm gonna be showing you the Fresh Fellas booth. This brand, the way they've expanded and the amount of amazing ideas and diversification, and I don't even mean diversity, I mean diversification of the actual product, has been so cool to see in real time as I've been coming to these different toy shows, and it's just been so delightful. So the Fresh Dolls being their main doll brand, you know, like the, the, the girl dolls. And this is kind of interesting. This is a fun sneak peek that they gave us uh, permission to film and show to you guys. These are not actual production dolls, but these give you an idea of what they can do. So these are showing off for buyers but they said that we could show them off for you guys and the value of this for you guys and what I would ask of you guys if you're fans of the fresh dolls or if there's something you want to see changed about the French dolls but you're, the fresh dolls but you're seeing them reflected here is tell them on social media that you guys are really really loving say this doll who has a side glance look at the face on this beautiful beautiful doll and this doll really blew me away her face is so so beautiful and I just really really love the fresh finity doll these are actual dolls that you can purchase. Those are not, just to be clear. These are Fresh Finity. The idea with these is that you can take the outfit, which all of them are different. As you can see, they all have different types of outfits and you can kind of switch them around like a wrap top or you can tie them around. Like it's so, so clever and it creates so many fun new looks. And these are super, super cool. I haven't picked one up yet, but I definitely hope to because I just think the faces are very, very beautiful. And if you've bought Fresh Dolls before, they've told me that they are updating them all. They're upping the quality on all of them. So now any that had polypropylene or hair that you weren't liking the feel of before, they're all gonna have nylon hair now. Just like you can see here, this super soft, product-free nylon hair. It's just fantastic. These are really really impressive and they told me just in the fresh dolls line not fresh mermaids hint hint not the fresh beads just fresh 43 new dolls coming you got to sneak around buyers and stuff at Toy Fair. It's very unusual. Uh, so these are the Fresh Beats dolls. And if you're familiar with these, you may have noticed something. Right. There's two new characters here. And if you're seeing no photography signs, they gave us permission. Don't worry. <laughs> I know I know you probably see that. So we've got Lox, who is the one I can never find in stores. So either she's really popular or she's being shipped separately. I have no idea. But she's so, so beautiful. You've got Bao BB, who I have a review of. And... This doll is mind boggling. And if you didn't know, the Fresh Dolls have their own special locks that are patent pending. So they are only for them. They're proprietary for them. And they are so incredible. Like you can see them here. Just so well done. And this is a something you'll never see on a different doll other than ones made by Fresh Dolls. You can see the rooting pattern on this too is so good. It's just realistic for this sort of hairstyle. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then we have Beignet Aule, and they have such a cute outfit. And the outfits on series one, I was so surprised when I saw these because they're really high quality outfits. Like this piece was the only one that I had some criticism of, but it's just because the design of the outfit being flower petals, the satin kind of printed on with no hemming fit for it. So I don't mind it, but like these pants are so, so nice. And you see this coat with that crushed velvet material. It's just beautiful. And then over here with Beignet, or She's just so gorgeous. But, okay, I've been weaving around, even though you can see them. There's two new characters, Dandy de Leon, and all of them are themed after country, or <laughs> after music, by the way. Sorry, I was about to get to country on her. So they're all themed after different music styles. So as you can see, pop, I guess K-pop on this one. You got rock. So 
That's why it's called Fresh Beats. And there is a series coming soon. I'm very excited to see it, what that's all about. Anyway, this is Dandy De Leon. And okay, so I was not feeling this one as much. I thought her outfit looked really good, but then they brought her down and showed me what she looks like up close. Look at this face. So beautiful. So if you look, she's got different eyebrows than the other. And like, I just, I think these eyebrows look so good. This, this is probably my favorite face on any of them. Like, and I wasn't expecting that because the hat was kind of hiding it from me a bit, I think. Uh, but she's so beautiful. And again, super high quality nylon hair, beautiful. And then Hello, we have Quinn Cutie Tay, who's the K-pop icon. And look, I love this hair color. And this outfit, I think, is my favorite of all of the outfits. She's not my favorite character yet. She might end up being, I don't know. But the, the quality. <laughs> is just so good look at that fabric and this like this is a completely separate piece and just absolutely beautiful and these dolls like these are one to there's so many cool new doll lines coming out and i know it's very stressful to keep up but like this is one to watch if you like the look of these i just can't believe the quality went up and the fresh dolls as they've been walking me through the booth like each one of the representatives that's talked to me has independently asked me without me bringing it up like are there any suggestions for like how to make these better like we want to make sure like we want to hear from you and i was like well the big thing that everyone pointed out to me was that knee joint thing and they said that's already something that they're working on taking care of so hopefully in the next series we see an improvement on that but i would just really appreciate it that they're so keen I, I didn't notice a change here but these are the prototypes but i was really really shocked by how much they wanted that you know they weren't very uh, egotistical about it we're like no shh, it's perfect already so i thought that was super cool and i just think fresh dolls is a really impressive brand like i think they're really really cool yeah hi guys so i wanted to show you more of the fresh dolls booth now over here we have the fresh fairies which these have been in stores but just see how precious these little figures are and these are so cool because we've started to see more diversity in fashion or not fashion of like uh, fairy tale type lines but now we're seeing like actual natural hairstyles in these sort of, sorts of lines and that's so unusual in a bad way honestly it should be in there more so this line is so cool and every time i see fresh dolls uh recently i've just been like make these make dolls of these we need dolls um and we'll get to something they've basically kind of made dolls of these but not quite not quite I'll get to it. Okay. Then down here, these are in production, so these could change. These are some like prototypes essentially. And these are the fresh fur friends. I was so excited when I saw these because you've got the girls that have their dogs that have similar hair colors. And I love that this wasn't, or not hair colors, but hairstyles. And I love that these weren't super lazy, like some that you see where it's just like every single dog has the exact same hair and every single character has the exact same hair. These it's different types of dogs so you've got like your schnauzer of course because the shaggy hair on that it's so sweet and it matches with their owner and they told me the idea behind these is like sometimes it's like pets look like their owners sorts of thing it's just so sweet you can see the little collar and there's fashion that matches on both and then look at this one i think this is a little poodle absolutely darling on the dogs and the dogs i think might be articulated but i can't tell these are in production again so there's some things that could change and then this is this a span i don't know dogs lady in the tramp what was lady whatever she was that's what this is um but she's so precious look at like, the little bow in her hair and these have nylon hair i believe and look i'm just is that not the sweetest thing i'm really excited about this line i hope that these expand because notice that doesn't say fresh dog friends that doesn't say fresh pup friends that says fresh fur friends so i want to see some cats okay and then these were super super sweet too i know these won't a super appeal to a lot of you guys but some of you guys and also any of you guys who have like younger kids in your life that you might be buying for these are the fresh cuddles and these are just these extremely soft memory foam spherical plush toys and they're just so sweet they're so the designs are so fun and cute and they're just little cuddly friends they've also got their adult coloring books so these have just really impressive artwork i knocked one of the fresh cuddles over i'm sorry honey but yeah Really, really cool stuff coming from Fresh Dolls, but I have one more little section to show you guys. This area must be the coolest because it's always the busiest and I can never get over here, but now it's free. Here we go. We've got yeah. Fresh Squad. If you haven't seen these before, I showed them at Sweet Sweet. I haven't gotten a hold of the dolls yet, but you guys know how I feel about boy dolls. Kind of not my favorite, but these are so good. These are some of the best boy dolls I've ever seen. Let's get them into the light a little more. Check 
these dolls out, the paint quality, just everything about these, the clothing. These are collector's dolls and they are only available on the Fresh Dolls website that I know of. Maybe something's changed since I last spoke about them, but just look at these. And again, these patent pending locks on this one. And the patent pending locks were first introduced for the Fresh Fierce collection, which are the Black Panther dolls that we'll be looking at in a second. And they're just, I'm so glad they're expanding it into their other doll lines because their other brands. It's hard. Fresh is like the overlying brand and then there's like Squad, Beats, stuff like that. Just, and the packaging. These are awesome dolls. If you collect any kind of like realistic, I mean, as realistic as these are, right, doll line, these are the boy dolls for your collection. These are so good. So, so good. They're also articulated, as you can see. What you'd expect, points of articulation, plus the ankle joint. Most boy dolls will have that ankle joint. Really good. Oh, and the head. Really, really nice. And then over here, we have the Fresh Fierce collection. These are really, really high quality, cool dolls. These won Toy of the Year last year. Uh, well, they got a Toy of the Year award. I don't, it was a doll of the year, I think. Just look at these, this shiny, amazing fabric and just all of the little details hanging off of these. These are super, super cool. And I've seen them at Target quite a bit. And just great, great dolls. Really, really cool. I don't know a whole lot about Marvel movies, but beautiful dolls. I know a lot about dolls and I like them. Okay, these dolls are in production. So the dolls you're seeing here are samples of what could happen. So these could come out as they are, but they could also come out radically different. These are in production, coming sometime next year. We're not sure when. I just need to draw your attention to this hair color. Nylon hair, as always with Fresh Dolls now. Just look at this color. And this doll's hair color, absolutely beautiful. And let's get her face where you can see it. So, so beautiful. And again, this is pre-curled nylon hair and just so gorgeous. And all these mermaid tails and things, again, are currently in production. I noticed that these ones up here are a lot nicer. Like, check this one out. Look at this tail. She's got like a cool fuzzy tail, this cool fuzzy top, and look at her eyes. Super, super beautiful. So again, not sure if these dolls are going to come out as they are. These are for showing to buyers so that they can see if they're interested, and then they could say, I want the dolls exactly as we're showing them, or I want them to be like this. So things might change. Uh, you can also see that they have an option of like the clothing that could be changed that they have that transformation but that that again might not show up in the final release dolls they're still working on it but you guys on their social media they're super responsive and they love to hear fan feedback like I was saying over there so if you like something you see here or you don't like something you see here talk to them about it in a nice way please be nice um, and look at this one this is Miss Green I love this green one just beautiful and this is shiny nylon uh, which isn't my favorite you guys know but it's super super soft and it's product free i'm noticing that it's like in really really good condition but just such a beautiful beautiful doll and then we've got one more up here and as you can see this is a very similar tail going on here but this one's got that just so beautiful and shiny nylon gorgeous face just really really cool i'm really oh and these are called fresh mer mist and i'm so so excited and then i've never heard of these before so I don't know what their deal is but these are the Rock the Bells dolls and story situation here and these are super super cute too so you can see they've got the printed shirts they've got very very cute little that face is beautiful and they're articulated no wrist joint but everything else and this doll's just so cute. Look at his face. Just, I just love when a brand can do a good boy doll because it is so, so unusual to see a good boy doll in a brand, um, especially one that was already established without boy dolls. So it's really, really impressive that these ones not only fit in really well with these ones, but they actually are really, really nice looking because you know, a lot of boy dolls, <coughs> Rainbow High, are not my favorite. All right, look at this. It's changed. This is so amazing see just how much this is refined super cool hey guys so we are here with bad ads so we met them back at the play date back in what was that like march it was a long time ago and they've been keeping this a secret because i had no idea this is an our generation dollhouse and look at this so the first thing that i noticed because i see the dolls sitting in here look how much extra space there is when the dolls are standing on every floor you have a, this is probably the least amount of space you get, but look at the clearance between the head and the ceiling. That is so, so cool, because a lot of dollhouses, specifically 18-inch dollhouses, 
I don't, it feels like they're scraping their heads on the top. Anytime you use any of the furniture, and they always come with lofted beds too, which is so funny because they're scraping their heads on the top. This is really cool. And it's just got so much square footage. When you're buying a new house, you know, you want these big square footage rooms. You want the open concept and you got it. It's not quite open concept, you see. You have like the nice hallways so they're not having to like cram their heads through like these little itty bitty walkways. So I just love this. I think this is so well designed. And it's something I noticed right off the bat too, there's a few built-in features like you can see the bulletin board and stuff but these rooms they don't have like things printed on the wall they have the furniture that it comes with you can buy other furniture sets from our generation to put inside and then it's up to you so if you wanted this to be like for some reason you wanted six kitchens you could do that pretty easily with this so i think that's really cool and because especially with like out of 18 inch dollhouses people want to have like just a bunch of bedrooms because you know you have all your dolls you want them to have their own special rooms and this is where you would get that opportunity and i think that's so cool also skylights and then um, all this furniture you're seeing does come with the set um it's just that the dolls don't the dolls are just here showing it off well you just can't keep them out they just really wanted to come play in the house you know and then here we've got the living room and check this out this is better than my couch i think i'm kidding my couch is actually quite nice but <laughs> it's very, very cute, very, very cute. And then look at this. I didn't notice this until a little bit later. These are plastic walls. They're not wooden walls like the rest. So you still get that like open concept type of feel without having like big blocky wood blocking out the rooms. Isn't that so nice? And these are semi-transparent because it's like, it's the bathroom. Just like my hotel room where you can see through the bedroom door. <laughs> um, anyway, here we have, of course, the flushing toilet. Flushing toilet count of the day too. <laughs> I'll keep you posted. And yeah, you've got like, look at this. The sink with the little soap and you can move the little faucet. I made the soap fall. <laughs> and this is one of the rooms that has a built-in feature. There's a mirror. And look at the shampoo in there. Like, isn't this so cute? And then moving down, I love this. This is so like mid-century. Isn't this so cute? The little dividing wall with that like, what is this supposed to be like palm fronds or something? And you can see the dining room and this just has a lot of space. I feel like if you already own 18 inch furniture and 18 inch dolls, you have a lot of wiggle room to play with. But you also, if you don't already have a bunch of accessories, it comes with enough to be able to, you know, create what you'd like to do. And I think that's so, so cool. Also, I think this would be fun for DIYing stuff for it. Like they were telling me that they have a lot of fun like decorating this for Halloween every year. So I'm gonna have to see that this year. I'm gonna have to see them post that on social media. I hope they do. Um, but just like their team is just doing that because it's just fun. This just looks so fun. And look at this kitchen, by the way. This is a really fantastic kitchen. And you know, like 18 inch kitchen sets are very popular. You see them all the time and they're always quite expensive. This comes with the house. This is pretty cool and it doesn't it comes with some accessories you know so you know when you first move into an apartment you got like your starter set that's what it comes with you know but of course there's tons of really cool play sets that you can expand this with what was the retail on this one yeah. So these are glitter girls. So these are your like 14 inch dolls. So they're similar to the R generation dolls. You can kind of pair them with them, but you know, they're a little bit smaller. And I, I didn't even realize this. I probably should have, but they're glitter girls. These are the fantasy themed ones and they keep our generation pretty down to earth, grounded in reality. But these are your like fantasy, glittery, fun, girly. And that's really cool that they have the different like brand images for both of them. I, I should have noticed that. I really should have, but look at this little, Oh my God, this ornament is really nice. Look at the pearly, oh my gosh. And the gumball machine with actual little balls inside. And like, oh my gosh, so sweet. Wait, does this light up? I bet it does. It's not on right now, but there's a button that looks like it lights up. You got your presents. So, so sweet. And of course this horse, I almost said unicorn, but no horn. So cute. So that's your holiday doll. And then we've got a lot of moving and grooving to do. We've got the car. You can see the hair flowing in the wind. Super cute. This, they told me I could uh, have this, so I'm taking this home. I'm gonna be uh, yeah. motorcycling my way, or motor scootering, scooting my way back to Alabama on this. Just kidding. Uh, but yeah. Um, so this is a donut scooter. Um, I don't know how they came up with this. It's not a real thing I asked. I was like, is that real? Because that sounds interesting. It's not. But look. It's actually like a donut. Oh my God, it opens. Oh my God, it opens. Oh my God, it opens. Are there any donuts in there? I ate them all, sorry. <laughs> I was hungry. But okay. This one has donuts in there, so look at this. Donut scooter. So like food truck, but it's donut scooter. 
doesn't exist. I think it should, so let's get on that. All the donuts. And these are little shelves that like come out so you can serve them on the little tray. And the balloons. Oh, I wish there were balloons on this one. Balloons. This rocks. Here's a doll using it. Super fun. Sweet shop. Do these come out? Do these come out? They come out. The lollipops come out. Oh my gosh. I did not think this was going to come out. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, even all the... No, they don't. No way. Yeah. So this one doesn't. I grabbed the wrong one, oh. clearly. <laughs> I like you a stray. But that's... Wow. Oh, I love the jar. But look at that. Sorry, I'm hungry. <laughs> that is so Look at these. I don't even know what these are. Oh. I don't even know what these are. I lost you. I was just talking to nobody. Oh my gosh. Do these come apart? One of them is a... Oh no, that's a separate cookie. That's a separate, I see. That's a sugar cookie. Oh my god, glitter. Sugar cookies are actually quite sparkly. I, when you look closely, it's really cute. Gummy bears. This is amazing. This is amazing. So the sweet shop, love it. Even in Fantasyland, unfortunately, they are going to class. Fortunately, they're learning all about amazing things like rainbows and butterflies and glitter, which we love. So this is a flip top desk. Let me show you. She's using it right now, so it's hard to use the flip top, but it's flip top so that you can store your things inside. Oh, is that a tape dispenser? It's a little flamingo. And you've got like, oh, that's a pad. I used this all the time. So I loved this sort of like planner, so I'm glad that, but you can actually write on that and use all the different pages. This is a globe that is also a gumball machine, I guess. That is amazing. Your glitter glue. This is a cactus pen. This is so cute. What the heck? Calculator. Oh no, there's still math in Glitter Girl World. She's one smart cookie though, so it's alright. Yeah, she is. I am not. I don't like math. I have a master's degree in science, but not math. In my world, less math. There was a lot of math involved in my degree, actually. Anyway, moving on. Hair play set. Look at this little mini hairbrush. I'm not sure what set this goes to, but look at this. This is a little nightlight shaped like a doghouse for the dog. This is like a dog care set. The little hedgehog dog toy. I was just so, that's so cute. At first, because she pulled this out, she was like, dog, dog house. And I was like, it's so small, who's this for? And then she said nightlight. And I was like, oh my God, isn't that sweet? I love that. And then you got your pup, absolutely darling. I love, I think this goes to the puppy. He's got his own little table. I wish dogs could use tables. Oh, maybe. And got a toothbrush here for who? Probably the dog, I don't know. I love that hairbrush because it's actually metal bristles. And you guys know I'm really annoying about this. Only brush your doll's hair with metal bristles. It's your PSA. Glitter Girl has got one, so. Only use metal hairbrushes on your dolls because they have plastic hair. So if you do plastic on plastic, it creates friction and rips their hair. Uh, it stretches it out. So metal on metal is just like, or sorry, metal on metal. Oh my God, can you imagine? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> metal on plastic is just like, it's just right. So you may have heard of the food truck because hello look at this and i didn't realize how much food this thing came with look at this like get it i wouldn't even be able to show you all this food if i spent an hour on it but i'd like to try oh there's more up here like they can even fit it all in there like there's so much food. i know all the popsicles gotta be separate like come on dude that is crazy i like the ice cream area look at that so so cool but okay that's pretty cool right but let's move up camper hmm. i wonder if this is a working toilet let's find out in a garage sale i don't see a button oh no wait okay i found it working toilet number three at toy fair new york toy fair 2023 three so far camper this is really cool. Sorry, I don't even know what to say. This is really cool. So you got a lot of storage. Look at that. I didn't even know there's stuff in there. <laughs> the toothbrush in with the utensils. Love it. So it's a camper. The life is rough on the road. You know. Um, Thanks. I really thought that that was gonna be fast food of some sort. Like I got really excited. Not fast food, but like takeout. <laughs> I don't know. The burger. Oh my god. The individual ingredients. That is so much fun. There's also a bacon in here. Sketchboard. 
wonder what that is. Oh, that's the, <gasps> it moves. Look, it actually functions. Like I can't pull it open? No, I can. That's, wow. Get out of the way. <laughs> He's cute. Oh, the, the way the head moves is very interesting. He's actually really cute. Um, but look at this. You can actually play with all of these little things. There's noise. Oh, yeah, so that was what I wanted to say. I kind of spoiled it. But the working windshield wipers. Can you believe that? What the heck? Is this a GPS? Yeah. Oh. It's, okay, so if you can hear that, it said turn right. Oh, my God. The pedals actually move. This is the horn. Like, this is amazing. I was pressing all these buttons not expecting anything. Oh, is this? What is this? Oh, I think that might be an oven. Oh, wow. that's this category. oh, what is this? That might just be a place to contain. Car guys, what is this? Keep more stuff in there. Anyway, this is like the closest. Okay, so I've been saying this for a while. I really want like a doll 18 wheeler. I just, no matter what doll it's for, I need it. Um, this is pretty close, I think. Like the trucker experience. I just want, I just think my doll should be able to experience that. This is close. This is close. Uh, you got a fly swatter with a fly actually on it. Thankfully, he's alive so far. He's okay. And then you've got a mosquito spray so cute and like look at all this and this actually comes down by the way i don't remember how yeah so you can actually expand your situation so that i I'm sorry it's at toy fair it's like kind of but you can you can change that area okay wait i want to see i saw this crane and i was like can we have one of these doll size that would be great <laughs> anyway dolls on the brain always here i just noticed this little cabinet but this comes down again like i'll show you for real so that you can expand and like use this area for something else so that's actually really cool because like maybe all the time i'm not needing to use the bathroom but okay there's one more thing that actually like changed my life i'm not kidding yeah exactly exactly <laughs> all right so gas there's an actual gas thing and no gas cap just like my car i'm kidding but like see it actually moves in but okay the best part are you ready something in my hands okay so there's a gas can with glitter you can give the give it give life to your our generation rv with glitter whoever came up with this i just need to have a it's the cutest thing in the whole world like what the heck it's so fun so so fun and look there's a qr code so you can have a tour made by somebody who knows what they're talking about more it looks like the headlights actually yeah that rocks gas tank guzzles <laughs> it, yeah because this is a button i just can't hear it because it's pretty loud in toy fair oh okay so they specially brought this out for me i was like can i show this and it was back in their secret area that we're not allowed to go back but they were like, do you want anything? Like, you can pick something more. We'd be happy to show it for you. And I was like, the plane. There's a plane back there. And they opened it up and set it up for us. I was not expecting that. So look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is for Lori. So this is a line that we used to see at Target, but it's not there anymore. Now it's available online. I'm going to need this plane immediately. Expeditiously. Expeditiously. There's a chess set. Okay, so I actually haven't seen this. I only saw it in the box. Like, in the box, all wrapped up with the wings, not attached and everything. Look at this. So... A lot of planes like I see for dolls and things are like not an actual plane. This, look at this, it's a plane. But also you get to open it up and actually use that. And of course it's a private plane, it's a private plane. But look at this, it's so incredible. So you can still see some tape and stuff. They legit just unboxed this product just so I can show it. So it's so sweet. But look, okay, so these are what the Lori dolls look like. And they're actually, they're really cute. Really, really cute. So this is um, one ninth scale. It's like kind of near one six, one twelfth scale, but not quite. So anything in this general, like look at my hand, look at my face, in this general size range would fit in this plane. But just look at this. Look at this. It's the plane. Look at the little so. Oh my God. These are taped together from packaging, but they also they come apart. And you've got these little like kebabs. That's what I like to eat on planes, but the rainbow kebabs. And the chess pieces actually move. This is a. You've got the queens? Those aren't the kings, are they? Those look like the queens to me, but maybe I'm mistaken. Oh, you got a bishop and a pawn. Isn't this so fun? These are little footrests. So these are in, oh, I was wondering about that. So these seem to be in place permanently. And, oh my God, this is an actual carpet. It's soft. This is so cool. This is so cool. Sorry, I've never seen this before. This is so, is this out? This is out. This is out. Yeah. How much is it? Um, I'll double check. Yeah, no problem. This rock, this doll is so cute. Look at her silly outfit and her fun little, Oh my gosh. Oh, and then of course the cockpit. Look at this. Look at this. 
So, little steering wheel. This is dangerous. There's supposed to be two pilots at all times in case something happens to one of them, you know? The more you know. So, um, Lori's not about that, though. <laughs> this is so... The window's open and closed. The window's open and closed. The little shades so that the person sitting in the window seat will open it up and ruin your flight. <laughs> um, it's $40. Yeah, $39.99. It says $39.99 and it's on Amazon. This Thank is you. so cool. Yeah, so this is amazing. I saw a bunch of Lori stuff back there, but it is a secret. But it's all amazing. The clothing was really nice. The dolls are very, very pretty. These are my favorite dolls from them, I think. I think the faces are really pretty and the clothing are really nice. But the accessories are where, like, I can't believe this is $40. Because <laughs> the place, wow. Okay, and it's so funny when you get it. All the wings are, like, wrapped up underneath it. That's what it looked like back there. But anyway, this rocks. <laughs> Over here, I was really hoping they'd bring these because I think they brought them to one of the sweet sweet or something that I went to one year, but I was so busy that I missed them and I was really sad because I really like these. The reason I really like these is because there's a lot of brands like this, but these have like totally different bodies on a lot of their characters. Like look at him. He's so silly. He's just my little frog friend. And aren't they, aren't they fun? Aren't these so fun? Oh my God, do these come out? No way. This company just gets it. Like having... <laughs> You can actually pick the produce out. The broccoli. Is that is it cauliflower? I don't know, sorry. I don't I don't I'm not about that life. <laughs> I like the little art. What are they? Radish? Beets. Love it. Love it. That's so I can't get over that. That is so cool. That's a little shovel for it. Yeah. Your little garden trowel. You got your little table. And these are 112th scale, by the way. They're a little shorter than maybe your traditional 112th scale doll, but overall pretty good. And aren't these so cute? Oh my God, look. Chocolate s'mores. There's a lot. Oh my God, the, the bunk bed. There's just so much detail in this set. I know that I wish, I wish that was us. That's when we went to Tennessee, that was us. I love the pile of wood. They got the, oh, I'm blocking it. The firewood. Look at this. What even is all this? Oh my gosh, there's a catching mint. Get it. Yeah, there's a hoe in there. Catching mint. Nobody can wear it, but it's a cute decoration. Oh, look. Oh my gosh. Oh, I <laughs> love it. This is so sweet. And look, this is like a portable place set here. You've got them all over the place. You've got your car. And a lot of them do come with books. I've seen that before. They come with little books that tell you more. Look at that. You've got a little. You need to have a patio. That's important. Oh, there's broom. a guy in there. There's a broom. And if any of these guys are witches, you gotta keep the broom away or they'll fly away from your doll room. Be careful. <laughs> oh, look, the balcony. And the bay window. I wish I had a bay window. <laughs> they do. They're better than me. <laughs> okay, and then, uh, yeah, I saw some other Honeybee Acre stuff, by the way. Uh, oh, and this is something. I didn't realize these were them. So these are now something radically different because you've got the flocked ones which they're still they still have the flocked ones but now there's non-flocked ones so if any of you guys are buying for kids or if you're just not as into the flock stuff they're not going to get as dirty the flocking's not going to peel off like and it's a similar toy just without that flocking so that's actually really unusual i've i don't know if i've ever seen anything like this without the flocking so that's pretty interesting i do love the flocking but i when I was a kid, I had some toys with flocking and it would peel off and get dirty and be very, very frustrating. And there's these new bobblehead ones that I'm not going to show you, but they're, they're a little bit smaller than this. They've got a little bit larger heads. You can kind of find them starting to roll out at Target in the next couple of weeks. There's a rainbow series that is super, super cute. And they're bobbleheads. They dance. They're really, really exciting. So stay tuned for Honeybee Acres. They're really, really interesting. And unfortunately, these aren't as common in stores anymore. Although those bobbleheads, I saw them in stores. They're there. Uh, but they are on, oh my god <laughs> was that where the other oh, oh never mind that's the frog family who was there who was on the that was another frog oh okay so there was a fourth frog usually there's like a young child one like that duck i think um anyway so yeah a lot of these are available online that's where you're gonna find them target online very cool i'm gonna hold on i'm hungry i'll tolerate lettuce for the day because i'm really hungry bye guys they told me they felt so bad they were like oh no they probably want to see these dancing critters and they brought them out to show you look at these so these are coming out in the next couple of weeks so right now i found these at target the other day these are the rainbow series bobblehead ones so these are super super cool they're just like this they're not flocked there is a frog one and i think i saw a turtle and they're amazing but these dancing friends don't look at that Shh, it's a secret the idea is that each one of these is individually packaged and you're trying to like 
make your little couples back together so they can do their little dancing. And look at the little bobbleheads. And I just love that the whiskers are like rooted into the face. Isn't that just so cute? So I saw some really cute ones back there. There's, these are really, really sweet and fun. And I just love the, there's a collectability of, you know, anybody could dance with anybody, but it's really fun that if you're like looking for the exact partner for one, you get that like moment with them. And I think these are so cute. So these two, I believe go together. They've got similar outfits and they're gonna go dance away. Goodbye. Hey guys, so I'm here with Bandai having the booth tour of my life with all this amazing, I should say Bandai, right? Since I'm right here in front of them, with all the amazing stuff, including, I'm sorry, this massive American Godzilla. Like, yeah, yeah. And they've brought some monster arts, only a few, and they even showed me some top secret monster arts. I won't tell, but they were amazing. And then, check it out. The new Bandai Movie Monster series. So you've got a bunch that are available for pre-order available now. I actually missed the memo on this one. Hidor is my favorite, so I gotta get him. And then look at Manda. I could not believe it when I saw him. And we've got Millennium Godzilla. You can see Destroya on the other side in your um, 2019 King Ghidorah. These are so amazing. Look at the nano blocks. <gasps> Komodo Kun, I didn't see him earlier. That's my favorite guy. I keep saying that's my favorite guy. Mothra, favorite guy. <laughs> These are so amazing and of course, we've got some gorgeous statues, and Bondi is just amazing. And then I thought these would be pertinent to you guys. We've got the q kits, and these are IPs that you guys care about. Look, these are our Disney princess. I love the look of these Tinkerbell. It's interesting. I'm not as big of a, I'm not a big fan of the big figures, but these little ones, I think, look absolutely gorgeous. Look how pretty. And I love the little setups and scenes they have going on. q kit stories. And then over here, we've got, sorry, my voice is gone. I sound weird. The sleeping ones. Look how cute that is. Look how sweet. I love all the little things that they... And then, of course, you've got your... Oh, I guess these are flowers here. And they're saying all of them retail for that. How sweet. Let's see Elsa. Oh, that on is really pretty, actually. But, yeah, super, super cool. We are in the Bandai booth. Look, we are behind the wall. I need to start saying Bandai. And look at all the amazing stuff they have for... Ghibli. So look at this. These are puzzles that are clear so when you pop them up against light or on your window, isn't that so cool? And just look how sweet this merch is. Like this calcifer candle and the, the flocked, like I love the flocked ponyo. So just amazing. And these are those puzzles again. So wonderful. They don't have any Whisper of the Heart cat returns. They never will. <laughs> um, I'm not saying they never will as if they told me that, but I'm just saying like I always get my hopes up. Someday though, someday people will get it and you can see just how sweet March is. And if we move over here, you can see some more stuff. I mean, there's just so much super precious. It's just Ghibli. It's gonna always be classic and always fantastic. And look at this. Oh, that's a little model kit. That is beautiful. So sweet. Love it. Always love it. And then some more. I love this. This is the, the dog from Spirited Away, but look at the little... And the calcifer frying pan, of course. Oh my gosh. So sweet. So much fun stuff for Ghibli always. Oh, cat bus. Always love you. And check it out. More Bondi. Look at the model kits. Magikarp. And I love the juxtaposition <laughs> with the Gyarados there. See, oh, the Gyarados' packaging is intense. So cool. Uh, so the, the so Nano block is a big thing for them. And again, these are puzzles that aren't clear, but there's some Pokemon puzzles if I move over here that are clear. You've got just so much stuff. And this says the packaging is not final, by the way. Look at this. Super cool, super, super cool. So much, oh my God, these are so cute. And macabre, but I love it. Oh, the sushi too. Kirby figures, just love it. Oh, and then over here. Look at this, Kirby merch, including iconic characters such as Kine. Oh, this is beautiful artwork. And oh, that's a really soft towel. So, oh wow, that totally rocks too. And you guys, I spotted this from like all the way over there. Check it out, check it out, check it out. That's my guy. It's Kid Cat, that's my favorite villager. We've got our Animal Crossing stuff. I love 
these figures they did for New Horizons. I hope that they continue to expand this line. They're flocked, by the way. I always thought they were a little bigger for some reason. I've never held one in my hands, but look. So sweet. I love the magnets. Oh, I love him too. I forgot his name. Zucker? Is Zucker the... The red one? This, no, who's this one? Uh, you had him. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember either. I just love the octopi ones. And then more magnets. And look at the Kirby's whole series of amazing Kirby's. Five bucks each? Really? They're so high quality. Oh, um, look. More obscure characters. Oh, really? Okay, who are they? I don't know. <laughs> Brett's like, I don't even know that's that much Magalore. about Kirby. I know Magalore. Well, of course you do. Oh, you don't know this one? That's from Robobot, and that's from Triple Deluxe. Who's this from? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's DVD. I don't know. So, Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, absolutely. Game, it's I a guess. little game. Well, they had this over in the Ghibli section, too, I think. I think there's some kind of I'm the number one Magalore fan. All right, wait, over here. Yes, I definitely let him win. Yeah. He definitely does Moving on over here. All the time. We have more. I'm not familiar with this transformation. Yeah. Uh, yeah Spawn? He's a 16 year old, so they don't need to help you. Super, super cute. So who's your favorite one? I mean, yeah. Uh, of what we have here. Yeah. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah? Also, the brush is large. What's on the... Oh, that's how he can... He's enlarged. Look at this. And a pillow. Uh, I like the pillow. It's like childish. Oh, he's drawing but, it. Yeah. Oh pencil. my god, that's cute. I didn't even realize. He's oh doing it. You say that's cute? You're at the cutest king table. Of course. And there's a whole Tamagotchi situation happening. Right. There's a whole Tamagotchi conundrum over here. I don't know nothing about Tamagotchi. But you guys always ask me about Tamagotchi, and I'm here. So I'll show you. I am a Tamagotchi. This is what happened. Anyway. This guy. This is a giant Tamagotchi. I need this in my house, I think. And I think it's meant to look like it's going, but it's cute. And then, Dean, who's this man? That's Kuchipachi. Kuchipachi's butt. And so I record all the <laughs> so, okay. that's Bondi. They're amazing. I have something else I want to show you. Someone can get back in there because those are like groundbreaking and I didn't really record them. So, yeah, we'll do that. But Bondi has some really amazing stuff. Like, we, and they rock. They were so, so sweet to us. But, like, we went through their booth for like over an hour just showing everything and telling life stories, like, life changing. Uh, but they look at like the Star Wars stuff and all the Gundams. Like, now we're over here, a whole world away. Um, we're in the cutesy section more, but this this rocks. This rocks. Also, there's a cat bus rug. That's cool. I wanted to show you guys these in detail. Look how cool these are. So these are Planosaurus is what they're called, but check them out. So they're these amazing dinosaur figures, but they also like can be dissected basically. Look how cool this is. The Mosasaur. We're walking to Tiso Life with Dean uh, and we just discovered the Squish Tour and I was so excited, but uh, there's they're taking it down. So there you go. We won't get to see what this is. We can ask them tomorrow, I guess. But yeah, may they rest in peace, the Squish Tour. The end of day one, I explained everything because I felt like a lot of my footage just didn't, didn't cover a whole lot because I just had so many appointments and they were very limited time. But today, or this day of Toy Fair, I feel like most of it was explained in the video. So that was day two. So that was Sunday, October 1st. And I had so much fun. It was so amazing to be able to meet all of these incredible people. I got to meet basically the entire Fresh Dolls team that was there, including Dr. Lisa, and she was absolutely wonderful. And it's just really special to be able to meet people like this. And I truly appreciate this opportunity so much. And it's definitely one of the coolest things I've gotten to do in my life. I'll definitely reflect on this more. Um, when we reached the end of my Toy Fair coverage, but this day was super cool. This was Dean's last day in New York, so we made sure to stop at some New York stops. So we didn't stay at Toy Fair as long, but I got so much footage and I had so much fun visiting all these booths. The highlight of all of Toy Fair, I think for me, one of them anyway, were those Decora Girls. I love them so much. Uh, the Fresh Dolls was extremely impressive. I really loved the puppies. I thought that was such a cool idea. I'm gonna need to see cats though. And Mermis was really exciting to me too. Uh, our generation really impressed me. I am more impressed every time I see our generation stuff in person, so I hope someday I can get some for review, but it's uh, partially my budgeting and 
so I can't uh, justify them, but also partially the space that they would take up. But I'm very interested in them. But for now, it's just a passive interest. But they're seriously really, really cool. If you are specifically into 18-inch dolls, I really think you should take a closer look at our generation stuff if you haven't already. They are so, so wonderful. And um, Bondi has so much amazing stuff. And all of their staff were so fun and so knowledgeable. And it was just really, really exciting. We spent like two hours, I think, talking to one Bondi rep who was just incredible. And he cared so much about what we were doing with Dalect and he was um, telling us like oh I can't wait to hear that your database has reached a hundred thousand dolls and I don't know that was just really really cool I had so much so so much fun and don't go anywhere because because days three and four also have a lot of really exciting products both dolls and not dolls that I didn't get to show on days one and two will stop by and see the loyal subjects which are the creators of the rainbow bright and the strawberry shortcake uh, reproduction dolls. We'll also see some really cool anime merchandise and oh calico critters that day too. A lot of really really exciting products so I hope you guys enjoyed day two of my toy fair coverage. Thank you guys so so much for watching. Bye!